Hi guys, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I'll be taking you through my campus and I'm going to show you what is around my campus and what facility we get as a university student in the UK. My name is Saurabh Chahan. I'm currently doing my master's in the UK in Southampton. I'm going to take you through the facilities which my university offers and uh, my university is the Solent University in Southampton. So if you're coming to the Solent, then you can watch this video as a guide, what you can expect uh, when you come here to study. And for those who are not coming to Solent, but just want to have a look, so this video will showcase uh, what a typical UK university have and these kind of things are are generally available in all of the universities in the UK. So without any further delay, let's begin the video. So first of all, let's talk about the classes. When you come to the UK, you have your classes very random. So you don't have like classes you have, for example, in India, you don't have classes like nine to, uh, for example, four every Monday to Friday. It's very random. It's not random in the sense like you will have different classes every week. It's random in the sense like you might have a class at like 10 to 12 on Monday. Then you might have a class at two to four on the same day. Then you might not have any class on Tuesday. You might have like class from maybe three to five on Wednesday. So it can be very random. Then you have to adjust yourself accordingly in terms of you know part-time jobs in terms of you're going out with friends yeah, and how you socialize in general so your timetable is basically same for one semester and then it changes for another semester you'll find out like you know months ago what your timetable will be in your next session so you can change your availability at your job or anything like that now when you go to the class you have presentation screen in every single class when you're in a class your uh, professors or tutor usually teach you on the presentation slide basically they just go through presentation most of the work which you have to do is by yourself so you have to study go to the library library have loads of you know facilities for students you have books you have you know lots of pcs you have lots of mac you have you know editing ones are different if you want dual screens those are different so in my library you do get these kind of facilities you have you know quiet areas you have group study areas in my library when you go to the ground floor you usually have you know reception then you have quieter areas and on the first floor is quieter area as well but there are some dual screens where you can work there are some screens where you can put your hdmi in then you have second floor which is usually a group study area there are loads of macs there there's loads of pcs there you can sit there you you know you can if you have a group presentation you can go and talk then you have third floor which is half divided in island area half is group study area the individual pcs people can sit there as well so your library can be a bit different so your library might not have three floors or it might have you know five floors so it just depends on university there's one thing which i like about solid library is that during assignments time the peak time which is december end then it is january then you have i think during easter time so we have the access to library 24 hours so it's open 24 hours if you have deadline the next day you do want to stay in the library the whole night if you haven't done any work if you have done the work then you can go home and sleep but I'm not sure about the other libraries in the UK. Some might be, you know, opening 24 hours, but the other might not be open for 24 hours. So you have to go, you know, during certain times. Usually when our library is not open 24 hours, it's uh, 8 to 11 sometimes, sometimes 10. It just depends. And one more thing which I like about our library is that they have a partnership with a local taxi company. So basically, if you are in the library, especially during winters when it gets so dark and it's so cold outside, so you can take a taxi from library to your accommodation. So it goes to, you know, all the accommodation areas and, and this like area where most most of the uh, students take you know houses they rent their places so that area is also included in that so you can take a free taxi from library to there so it usually runs like 9 p.m to 6 a.m in the morning so if you want to stay in library till late night maybe like two or three but you're not sure how you're going to walk like 20 30 minutes to your accommodation if it's that far then you can just take a taxi which is free not sure if other university does that but if they do then it's really great if there are buses running online then it's really great as well so these are some of the things which you can expect when you come to the uk so the next thing which i will talk about is one of the sports complex which is a very recent building which opened i think two or three years ago uh, it has sports hall so you can play basketball there you can play futsal there you can play badminton there so there are lots of things which you can do there's a gym there as well which a university student can access it is not free so you have to pay a certain amount but it is a, like a public gym so you know people from outside can join the gym as well but as a student in solent you have to pay a less amount than uh, other people personally i don't go to that gym i actually try to go to gym as much as i can but it's very hard for me at the moment but i still don't have the membership to Solon gym i have membership to the other gym which is called the gym it is 24 hours open it works out better according to my schedule but if i'm living very near to university like maybe a five minute walk or less then i might have joined the Solon uh, gym because it does offer a value for money if you go during the daytime and uh, if you're regular as well and if you live nearby then that's a plus point as well so apart from these you do have you know different facilities in the university for example uh, let's talk about student hub so it's uh, as you can you know guess from the name it's a student hub like it's not hub for student as in terms of people can go and hang out there it's student hub as in student can go and get their problem solved so it's an office run by university so if you have any doubts the first point of contact will be student hub if you need any letter for the bank if you need any help with your payment any help with tuition fees anything at all that's your first point of contact then they will either try to solve the problem by themselves if they can't then they will uh, further recommend you to you know the appropriate team so every university in the uk will have something like this so you can go to that place and you know get your problem solved uh, whatever your problem 
problem you might have especially when you start you might have some problems for the first couple of weeks so you can go there and you know sort everything out then the next place i want to talk about is soul and futures so this is one of the place where you can go during or after your graduation it is for the students and it helps them to uh, get their cv checked out enhance their cv they help you to understand your career opportunity better if you have any doubt regarding your career regarding jobs or anything like that you can go there and have a chat with them you can book one-on-one -on -one meetings you can you know just go and just talk to them then they can offer you advice and things like that so if this is something you need help in then you can go and have a talk with them another thing i want to talk about is solent creative so this is our university's own freelancing agency so if you have any you know creative jobs available in southampton for example someone wants to do a event and then they want a photograph taken of that event so, so what they will do is they will contact solent creative solent creative will put out that job for solent students there are loads of creative courses in solent so uh, there are students who are always looking to improve their uh, cv improve their unique experience so there will be some maybe photography student who might want to take up that job earn some money and get some experience as well so they will be always be student i work there part-time as well so i usually do four time a week my contract is over now but but from september till may i did some part-time work there and then i was working part-time somewhere else as well so it's a nice place if student you know are very engaged then you can get a lot of experience before you finish university and can be really useful when you go out and then you already have you know some experience and then it will help you to get more clients or more jobs then next thing which our university offers are there are loads of different rooms so there are rooms for you know photography there are rooms for you know broadcast radios and you know all sort of things so solent university is a creative university so you do have you know all these equipments people can uh, use them uh, you can book them if you are not in one of the courses but you need to take permission from a tutor so it might be like you are doing certain course but you need certain uh, equipment maybe just to show in the video or maybe just to use them or for any other reason so you need to contact a tutor and then they'll be able to send an email where you can book this room or you know special equipments as well there are some basic equipments which i think anyone can take like if you're a university student you can take this that's like your basic dslr camera your hdmi cable things like that so you can always borrow them if you have some short project you just want to work or some personal project you'd like to work on and we have this thing called the hatch where you can you know basically take loan on these things which is kind of free but if you lose item then you might have to pay so <laughs> be careful about that anyway these are all the things which will depend on university if your university do offer these kind of courses then you'll have these kind of rooms available but if your university doesn't have these kind of courses then they, they might not have all of these facility but some university might have very advanced facilities so again it depends on the university you're going our university is also known for sports courses so we have our own it's like a training ground so where football study students can go and you know take part they do their practice there and solent university football team the second team also go and train there then next to it is a stadium like a very small stadium where universities plays their uh, home game so it depends most of the uk university will have some sort of ground where they will play their home game so we have that as well now there are more things which we have on campus so obviously there are offices and everything but there's one more thing which is you know you need some place to eat so we have uh, one two three so there's one place which is called the east park deli it's basically starbucks slash you have your you know different kind of things like you can get pasties you can get soup you can get you know sandwiches things like that so this is one place then you have costa again uh, you can get coffee you can get more snacks there then there's one thing called the docks so this is the place where i usually go to eat something if i have you know a gap between uh, certain classes because you do have loads of options there you have like burgers pizzas you have fries you have nachos you have korean food there's english food as well so you can go there if you have breaks between classes and if you're hungry and if you haven't got anything i usually get a margarita pizza which is like a seven inch pizza i think it is three pound only so it's not that bad if you want you can also play you know table tennis there there's pool table there so there are different things which you can enjoy so there's a nice little garden out there as well so it's really nice in general especially if it's not raining and you know there are certain universities in the uk which have their own bar their own nightclub in the campus so if your university offers that then it's great if not then there will be some sort of alternative for you know things like that now this was all in terms of facilities obviously different university different facilities there's one more thing which uk universities do give is you will get a student email which you can use to sign up for uni days and you can get a lot of student discounts uh in places so uk is an expensive country in general instead of paying full price you do get like 10 15 percent off which is i think something because you have to get that thing anyway and you're getting 10 percent or 20 percent off on that and it's kind of nice in a way uh, so make sure you always ask for student discount wherever you go and for that you will need a university email and with that email you can sign up for different things some university also offers access to different software uh, for example when you get a university email it's a solid email obviously but when i log in uh, to the email it's a whole outlook theme so basically outlook is kind of like the company behind the email and all of the things which comes with outlook or microsoft comes with it so for example i can install uh, ms office and when it asks you to you know like either pay for the license or it asks you to sign in so you can 
can sign in using your university email and then you can save all of your documents online so you don't need to worry about saving them again and again you can turn on the auto save on and i can work from any computer in my library and my word document will be available online i just have to open the word and just open the recent document and it works very seamlessly i can work in my own pc as well so you don't need to log in into one of the university ones you can log in into your private uh, pcs as well and there's uh, one more thing which we have is the adobe creative campus thing so basically i can use adobe software with my university email so whenever adobe asks for an uh, email id i just put my university email id and then i uh, i get taken to the university portal and then i can just uh, log in there with my university email and password and i will have access to all of the adobe software uh, things like you know the recent adobe beta the generative ai one as well so i have access to all that i will have access to that till i have access to my university email so if you are doing an undergrad then it's really nice because you have adobe for like three years and then if you are doing something creative you don't need to buy expensive software we have you know different editing rooms as well in the university you can get mac if you are into you know final cut and things like that i usually use final cut i have it in my mac as well so i don't need to go to the library but if i want to i know there are things there i can use and i don't need to worry about it too much so now this was all uh, for my campus facility slash tour i did take some videos and put them in the video just to show you guys how things work uh, if you are coming to the solen then hopefully this might have helped you in a way there are more videos online you can go and check out if you are going to a different university i will recommend you to do a quick search on youtube and see if other people have made videos about the university so you can get a rough idea what kind of uh, facilities you'll get in campus because sometime you know what happens is uh, you might not know that you can use certain kind of facilities and then people kind of like goes the whole year or two three years without knowing and then they actually realize it a bit later or sometime they never find out that they could have used certain kind of facility uh, you know throughout the last two three years i will give you a very quick example in uh, solent university in solent creative we had this like amazing mac studios like so it's the 2000 pound one mac studio but i think i'm one chip i'm an ultra i think then you have the new imax so there are like two mac studio and eight imax there but people don't really use them i've never seen it like you know all of them busy most of the students i've seen are editing in the library and i'm always wondering like why they don't go to the solent creative one uh because it's more new it's more powerful so the macs in the library are a bit old now i mean they can still do the job but if you are you know doing a creative work obviously you will want as powerful machine you can get and when you're using the one in a university then you should get the most powerful you can but it's just my personal perspective maybe people don't want to go to solent creative it's a nice space overall i like it better than the library library is a bit too loud for me in the second floor where the macs usually are so again it depends on you know personal perspective but again watch some videos where uh, you are going to the university because you might find some hidden gem and then you'll be able to use that thing when you go to the uni now this was all for this video if you have any comments uh, for me if you want to know anything just comment down below i will try to reply as soon as possible if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to watch more of my videos then please uh hit the subscribe button i'll try to bring out videos probably once a week i'll try to post a bit more regular compared to what i have done in the past but if you do want to join on my journey please hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one goodbye